welcome back to the channel folks thanks for being here and please subscribe like and share I'd really appreciate it it keeps me motivated to keep doing these films uh, today we are going to remove rust out of gas tank it's going to be broken up into about three parts but merged onto this one film clip because you have to let this stuff sit I believe 24 hours I'll check and we want to clean it without actually using a coating inside and a lot of people like using cream Caswell, there's a couple, there's many companies out there that sell the coating for it, but I really don't favor in using that stuff unless I really have to. I've read numerous articles where it cracks after a couple of years and breaks up and clogs your system. I don't have no proof of that. I don't know. I've only used it once many years ago, and I only had the car for about a year after using it, so I don't know. But I got something that I'll show you in a minute and it's supposed to clean the rust out and you don't need to coat the tank or anything so i'd rather stay with the original german tank if possible rather than buy a new aftermarket one i only go aftermarket if i really have to so all right let's take a look around here and see what i got going on i get started on the gas tank rust removal there's what i got going on so maybe you guys can help me decide that one there is just an extra engine that somebody had given me, uh, just extra parts and stuff. That one is a good running motor. It came out of a parts car that I had got, and it actually runs well. The one had screwed up on it. So I bought that engine. It has brand new 87 millimeter pistons, new heads, well, clean heads. Uh, it came with a W100 cam new oil pump uh, it's actually a nice engine but I'd have to split the case in order to you know repair the cam that's broken it uh, but it's a pretty clean engine but I don't know if I feel like splitting the case because I want to get this yeah uh, on the road so what I can do is take the heads put them onto that motor but clean this motor up real nice put new gaskets and seals paint it and make it really nice We'll see which direction I go, but I'll be filming that shortly. Uh, everything will be filmed when I'm doing all the engine work. Either way, I will be going ahead and doing two engines. I want to put a 74 millimeter crank in that one with 88 thick bore. So we'll see which direction we go. Okay, so here's the gas tank out of my Super Beetle. Now obviously, it don't matter which car this comes out of its, its gas tank. They're all the same, technically. Uh, I already capped off some ports, and there is one port under there I capped off, because I'll be pouring crap inside of it. Uh, to show you the rust that's inside of there, it's not horrible, but it's enough. It's hard to see. Here. Here's a picture of it. Okay, so what I got to do is soak some stuff in it that I bought that people have been bragging about. So I got evaporate rust. It's a super safe rust remover. We'll see. But you're supposed to pour this in let it sit for a couple of hours then turn the tank to another position you know what i mean and you don't coat it you uh fill it with gas after that so you don't get flash rust is what they call it and what is flash rust hell if i know it set it on the container but there's the directions for it so basically it says large gas tank i don't know mine's large or small, completely fill the tank. Okay, we can't do that with one gallon. Uh, pour one gallon and rotate gas tank every hour until the rust has been removed. Drain completely and rinse well, air dry, da 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 da. So, I'm gonna try this because this also is reusable. When you're done, you can strain it back into the bottle, strainer, get it, so you can pour crap into it. You can put rusty tools in it too that cleans them up. So you know what? 
after we do this gas tank job, I'm going to take out another day. And I have all kind of miscellaneous old wrenches that I find in cars and stuff. I'm going to soak them in there and we'll do a test on that. How's that sound? Just to see. I've even got some beetle parts that are rusty. So let's see how this stuff works. I can easily wire wheel that, but you know, we'll see. But okay, remember, any ports you got to cap off. I already did that. I just used, uh, you know, vacuum caps. It ain't going to be in there forever. So we're going to pour this in and I'll wait a couple hours and I'll be right back and let's see what it does. All right, so a little space here. Hopefully it don't flood my workbench. Let me double check. Yeah, we just got the one port there, and that's it. Okay, it should be okay, hopefully. All right, let's open this stuff up and see what it looks like. Okay. I smell everything. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like soap. You know what? I better... I got a funnel because I'll pour it all over the place. I know me. I get shaky hands all the time, so. All right, that's better. All right, let's pour it in. It's just clear. It doesn't smell strong like thinner or mineral spirits or anything like that so just need to cover that bottom where the rust is like I showed you in the picture the tank sat empty for about four years in the parts car so I believe that's why it did that probably some moisture was in it okay so kind of foamy wow okay I gotta put something under the front here so it's kind of even and I'll show you what it looks like in there so that one gallon covered the bottom about from here back so because I could see down inside so once it sits for about two hours then I'll tilt the tank forward and do the front you know and I'm gonna get a mirror in there and see if the top is rusty inside up inside so I know if I gotta flip it over and seal this off so and then in the end we are gonna wet sand this tank down and spray it so it's nice and pretty because nobody will ever see it you already know the deal I'm weird like that so okay I'll be back this has been sitting actually for six hours now remember I still got to tilt it this way so it goes all on the top here flip it back so it sits and gets the back of it and then I may try to seal this off I guess I could put the uh, setting in the back end there we go and then I'm going to flip it over off to seal this off. Let's see how it did. I don't know if... Okay, let me take some pictures, guys. Sorry. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I'm surprised it worked that well. That rust is gone. You see little black marks in the tank. That's just part of the metal from the age at this point. But... That evapo rust worked. Now, when you're done, you're supposed to fill your tank with gas to keep it from having flash rust. But I gotta be honest, uh, I didn't think it was gonna work out well. I really did not. I got it at O'Reilly's, which you could probably get it on Amazon or anywhere. I think it was $24 for a gallon of it. But the best part is, is you use a strainer, of course, pour it back into it, the uh, gallon, and you can use it again. So that's the nice thing. If you have rusty tools, anything, 
toss them in there. So, okay, that was an experiment. I usually don't try too many on the channel. Maybe I should do that more often instead of doing it and forgetting to film. So, like, share, subscribe. Let's build the channel up. Let's make it big. I appreciate you all being here. I hope you enjoyed the film. Sorry I couldn't get the camera inside. Obviously, you can't, you know, do that. But the pictures prove that it works. Talk to you soon.